Hello Internet, welcome back to Zell's TV and a somewhat late episode of my electromechanical wooden clock. In today's episode, number 26, I'm going to be working on fitting the top frame to the front. Stick around. Alright, we are off to a fantastic start. So since last week, the two parts here I had glued up had broken apart, so I had to re-glue those. I went out to get some more wood and I bought this and I cut it all down to length and everything else and they all nice and straight and accurate and the modules are nice and then I put it to the edge and I thought wait a minute something is wrong here it's too thin so it's the wrong dimension of wood so another day was lost I went out eventually and got the real wood though it doesn't match up perfectly on the corners here the grain but uh should be okay, I mean, I might stain it, I'm not sure yet. It's all nice and straight in the corners. Which is absolutely perfect. Every corner straight, no play at all. Nothing. So, first of all I'm going to glue these parts on here, which I've cut out to strengthen the whole thing. Because this is just butt jointed. There's no splines in the end here or anything else, because it's very, very thin material so I'm going to glue these on the top like this which look nice and to add a bit more strength so let's do that and then I can glue this onto the clock and I'll show you what I've done to the clock to make sure I've got everything straight in a second those are all glued on nice and this is nice and rigid let's bring it up a bit closer is the front section I've made and what I've done is put it so that the wood to wood there is mated properly and everything's all lined up and I've taped it in place that way everything is square to itself and what I'll do is so that the frame is square to this and it holds everything rigid I'll put the frame down upside down like that and I'll put a clock on top of it after I put glue on the back of the frame like this and then everything should be nice and aligned and then I wait for the glue to dry so I'll just check the gap around the edge there I'll check this here make sure everything is equally spaced wait for the glue to go off and I can lift this whole thing off like that and I'll have the frame on the front all nice and square and nice looking so let's get some gluing done. That's gluing up nicely. I've got wooden shims under here to lift this up, stop it from bowing down like this. I'm going to wait for everything because you've got these little front portions here, which I probably should have left till last, really. But there you go. So they're holding everything up. That's got glue. I'll give it about an hour or so. I'll come back to see how that's gone. Rightio, this has been gluing for a while now. I've got this on it to act as a gravity clamp, just pushing everything down. Oh, let's see how it looks. Awesome stuff, right yo. I've got some little hinges to put on the side. They're not fantastic hinges. I'll probably get some more later later on if I get some nice looking ones but he's going to go on this side what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave all the tape on apart from this outside bit here that way when I put these on it's all nice and level and everything else I'll 
get something that's the height of these and just use to sort of space these hinges off so they're perpendicular like that they're straight and hopefully I can probably recess the sides of the plywood and put these in Let's see how that goes yeah. let's mark them off drill some holes screw them in place actually better idea I'm going to take them all apart I'm going to put the hinges on the side like this and they can be level with the top of this and I can mark off and drill for the sides when it's secure I can lift that up put the top back on make sure that's flat and then drill through and mark, mark, mark and drill through there and screw that in place like that so having that like that there now perfectly perpendicular to the top like that so on that end the other that end nice that opens smoothly excellent right let's make some sort of a catch I'm thinking magnets which I can fit in here I can drill out a small hole put a magnet inside something like that bit of metal underneath there and glue all together so that will be clicked in place it out I've got an area of a file and just sort of glue it like that so now the magnet sits inside there like that and it will just glue in place like that level give it about half hour or so then we do the other side that's glued in place nice and it's nice and flush with this I put some foil on top of it while it's gluing I put this steel piece here which is a blade for cutting polymer clay I close the whole thing so everything was flush and flat I've cut a matching pocket in the top of this underneath here so I'm going to put a bit of caps on tape over this, put that magnet on top, put some glue in the pocket and then close it and then when it all sets up, the magnets and everything else will be perfectly aligned. Yeah, yeah, that works. Everything sits nice and flush. Brilliant. What I've also done in here is fire all the tops of these screw heads off. I've cut them off with pliers, which was really difficult because they're actually stainless steel screws. So that's fun. Filed them roughly, roughly, but smooth-ish, ish, smooth-ish. Here you go. So. They don't stick out as much, if at all, so they look a bit better. Okay, so that works. Lovely. Fantastic. All right, that's all I've got time for this week. Next week, I will either put in the Perspex slash glass plate that's going to go in here, if I can get the materials, or I'm going to be working on reprogramming this to make it run smoother. And what I've got an idea for is Instead of this just spinning round and then stopping, I'm going to sort of ramp up like that. So I go through the program and we ramp up the speed and then down again. So I go like, mm. which should make it run a bit smoother and sound a bit smoother and everything else. We'll see. So next week, tune in for either this being reprogrammed or the window being put in. 
thank you very much for watching if you have been watching and if you like what you see give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down in the doobly doo leave me any tips or questions or anything else get subscribed and hit that notification button so you know when I upload until then I shall see you next week have a great one